Let's go. My brothers, it's time to show them what we got. We go. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. Welcome to the NBA Finals Game 4. We're going up against the Miami Heat. This is a win or go home situation for the Miami Heat and they do win the tip off. But check this out. We're going to play our own game and try to get this win. Devin Harris goes ahead and takes the first shot he sees, which might not have been the best shot for him. So we grab the rebound, come down on offense, and check out our new starting point guard, Anthony Davis, as he just sits up there and brings the ball down. But I'm going to slow things up because I have a mismatch and I want to take advantage of that. So I'll call it a nice little pick and roll play with Steezman. He cuts to the basket. I give him the pass and he gets the layup to go. I'm going to go ahead and get that first assist on the board for me and myself. You know, doing what I need to do. But check it out. LeBron James, he doesn't waste any time. Gives Ryan Anderson the craziest crossover I've ever seen in 2K. Well, not the craziest. But he does get that left hand layup to go and one situation on Greg Steesman. Greg Steesman just jumped and swung his arm. I don't think he even thought about the defensive play. <laughs> now, check it out. It's 6 5. I told you guys, the pick and roll is where it's at. I'm going to call another pick and roll. The double team comes, hits Steesman in the paint, and look at the and one. He said, nah, F that. If LeBron gets and one on me, I'm going to get an and one on the Miami Heat. So he goes ahead, gets the dunk, and he does convert the shot. I'm going to tell y'all right here, right now. But it's all good. Now, on offense, we make things happen. But look at the Heat on offense. They make magic happen. Did you see Dwayne Wade cut to the basket? It seems like LeBron James is going to have a triple-double tonight. And is going to have about 30 assists the way Dwayne Wade is jumping. Them knees are looking good. Real good. Now, on offense, I told y'all, our new starting point guard is in the game. Anthony Davis is doing what he needs to do. Now, I'm getting all the bad call for passes in the world. So, I decided to say, you know what? Let me cut to the basket and look at that pass by Anthony Davis. He is a true point guard. Literally. Like, he doesn't want to play center today. <laughs> like, it's all good, though, man. His assists, my points, we're going to make magic happen out here, man. I promise you. Let's get it. Now, I don't know why they didn't take advantage of that little fast break situation, but I kind of mess up right there and get my second foul in the first quarter, so I got to sit my black behind down. Now, I come back in the game, and we're only down one, which is cool because I would have thought we'd have been down 10 with six minutes left in the first quarter, but did you check out the behind the back? Ugh. That, that dunk right there gave me the chills after the crossover. I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, Dwayne, but it, it had to happen. You had to be put in that poster. <laughs> now, it's 28 to 32. We are up four, and LeBron James runs out of time and has to take almost a half-court shot. And we're going to take advantage of that because they're out of position. And I'm just going to come down real slow, pull that tray, and nail that thing in Haslam face. Yeah, Haslam, I'm, I'm just sorry, man. I just had to take advantage of you, bro. I didn't mean it. It, it. it just happened like that. Bro, LeBron James and the Miami Heat, they ain't about to let that one go without some little, I guess, payback. So LeBron James passes over to Harris. He kicks it back to LeBron. LeBron wants a three of his own, but he misses. So we're out on the break. You know what I'm doing. One man fast break. I stop. I pop. Bang, bang. Cash money. I'm sorry, LeBron. That's what happens when you try to get that three back. I got to give you another one. Is, do you want another three? Nope, because them cookies is real. I, well, I tell y'all about these cookies, man. I'm telling y'all, Nabisco, whoever makes Oreo, y'all need to hire me, man. I get these cookies out here. I'm telling you, give me a stand. I promise you I sell some cookies. Real rap. <laughs> now, it's 48 to 33. I don't know what happened. It seems like we just turned the burners on. I don't know what to say about the Miami Heat. I'm still getting cookies out here. And you know I got to get these assists, right? You know it's all about these assists. So Ryan Anderson backs in the paint, puts a little person in the post. And he goes ahead and get that nice little, I guess you could say, turn around hook shot. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he ain't Olajuwon and nobody, but, you know, we're going we gonna to make that work. <laughs> but we are putting on a beating right now. So it's six minutes left in the second. Ray Allen, of course, isn't one of the best post guys in the world, but he does get that one to go. They're only down 15, which I think they can come back from. But if we do things like this on this play that we're about to do, yeah, you know, your boy's backing in the paint. And oh my God, did I just windmill on that man? Did I just windmill on that man? Like the disrespect. Look at LeBron chewing his ass out. Look at look, look at LeBron. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> now, 69 to 45. We are clearly up more than 20. Now, I'm telling y'all, I'm playing on Hall of Fame. I don't know what happened. I got 38 and 6. 
I'm cheating with a triple double. Like I'm in the runnings of a triple double right now. So we're out on the nice little half court fast break, whatever you want to call it. And I throw the alley oop to Anthony Davis because I knew, I knew the double team was gonna come. Speaking of which, that was a triple team, 2K. If we on a fast break situation, why you got three people running at me knowing there's guys trailing? Come on now, 2K. I gotta pull your card, baby. That's all I'm saying. Now, it's 71 to 47. The second quarter is almost over. And I got a bad call for pass there, but they decided to pass that all the way cross court. Didn't make any sense, but I did receive the offensive rebound there. I am cheating, y'all. Hey, Kevin, well, coach, with this type of ball game, what needs to happen in order for you to pull out a win tonight? Well, we have to play through some of the tough times, okay? Whether it's a missed call or whether it's missed shots, uh, this is a passionate game, and we got to stay the course. Coach, thank you so much. Guys, handling both adversity and prosperity is so crucial. Okay, Doris, much appreciated. And now for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, brought to you by Sprint. From this crucial game for the NBA Finals, we dig into the storylines for what went down in the first half. The New Orleans Pelicans have the lead against Miami. They're locked in and enjoying a comfy lead. They look to complete a sweep of these NBA Finals. The captain dominating the first two quarters. Seems like everything's falling for him. Not sure if he even knows how to miss. For the Heat, they haven't had the same luck. The story of turnovers hasn't been a good one for him so far. It's really hurt to this point. Too casual with their possessions. Ray Allen's been tremendous in the first half. He may be coming off the bench, but the way he's playing, he might crack that starting five before too long. That's all we've got here. Now, back to Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris for the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. Talk about great numbers for the captain. He's got 30 points and he's hit four from beyond the arc. A weapon with those three point shots. All right, so the third quarter has begun. Your boy is certainly on fire. Like this is El Fuego at his best, but check out Dwayne Wade still catching these alley-oops. This boy is pissing me off with these alley-oops. He's making it look too easy out there. I don't know what our defense is doing. I don't know what the person that's sticking him is doing. Eric Gordon, where you at? Where are you at? <laughs> that's all I'm saying, man. Now it's 79 to 53. We still got a lot of time left in this game, and they can actually come back. I don't know, man, but if they do, I'm going to be mad. But check out Dwayne Wade. He is putting on a beating right now. Did you see that crossover? Like, my man literally almost tore his ACL trying to stick defense. Like, that's how bad it almost got. But to no avail, I'm going to come back down, try to put some points on the board, and look at the alley-oop, man. Yo, y'all got to love me for this, man. Like, I'm just throwing it up. I don't even care if I get the turnover. But Anthony Davis is making me look good tonight. Real good. Now, it's 86 to 63. I know I'm going to keep calling out this score because it looks bad out here. So, you know, I'm trying to get to the rack. But this dude is trying to, you know, guard me with his life. So, you know, I got to put him in a post. Give him a little bit of that MJ taste. Now, I know I don't have the MJ form. But I'm talking about this post work. He going to get this post work. That's all I'm saying. Even if I get the ball to roll. No, it's 89 and 65. About half of the third quarter is gone. And LeBron James, I don't know what he's doing in this game. He really doesn't want to score, but he's still getting Dwayne Wade in the game. Now, I wanted LeBron to go for 50 tonight, but he's so passive. So passive. But Dwayne Wade is the guy. He's the aggressor. And he's going to make it happen tonight for them, man. But check this out. On a nice little fast break, has them bringing the ball down all the way down to the other end of the court. Doesn't even care about any other Miami Heat on his team. He just goes up and says, nah, I'm going to do it all myself. But check me out, though. I'm looking for the icons, looking to see who I can pass, and I noticed something. I got a switch going on. I got the king himself on me. So, you know, I got to embarrass the king real quick. I decided, you know what? Going to the rack is a little too easy. I could have dunked on somebody, but I'm going to put my man in the post. Give him a little shimmy. Give him a little turn around, fade away, and nail that bad boy. You know it's cash, man. Look at me getting hype. Get in the arena hype out here. Now, the third quarter is almost over. We got about two minutes left. Now, Roberts, he's the point guard. I'm just a shooting guard. But I get the rebound to go, and I get the bucket to fall. And guess what, y'all? Guess what? 
your boy is out here with a triple double 40 12 and 10 and i'm shooting 60 percent in the front of the field tell me that ain't nice but roberts is going to get torched because he ain't the real point guard out here now the beginning of the fourth quarter is about to go down we're about to check out the assist of the game. I can already tell you right now that the assist of the game got to be me to Anthony Davis. Not Anthony Davis to me. Now check out that alley-oop, man. I think the other one where he did the pump reverse was a little bit better. But, hey, it's, it's, to, it's to each his own, man. You know, it's to, it's, to, it's to the taste of the person, you know. Maybe maybe it's just me, but I like that high-flying reversal dunk slams. I don't know, but check out LeBron. He mad. <laughs> now, I can tell you all right now. Running a full court press on me is the wrong thing to do. I don't know what the Miami Heat was smoking in the locker room or on the bench at the end of the third, but running these full court press ain't going to get you to win. It's just going to get your man the way and way he dunked on all night. I'm trying to give him an injury from an elbow. That's all I'm saying. Now, it's 92 to 108, and me here, I try to get too overly aggressive, and I get my fifth foul, and... What kind of threw me off was like, all right, I got five fouls. We got the rest of this game to go. Am I going to be able to stay in the game? So, you know, I kind of put my thinking cap on and I say, ah, you know what? I'm not going to go for any more steals. I'm not going to try to be, you know, that guy to get all the cookies. So we get out on the break, you know. I pass it off to Bellinelli. He goes to the rack and kicks it back to me. So I tries to shoot the three and I miss with excellent and B plus quality. So you know what happened, right? I raged a little bit. I, I'm not going to lie. I raged. That was my fault. I'm fouled out for the rest of the game. But you guys need to see this here. This game is about to end, but check out this score. I'll be right back. And they've done it for new NBA champions. You know, Kevin, you go way back to the beginning of the season and all the hours they put into this year. This is what it's about. This is what it's for. Be an NBA champion. And the NBA season can be grueling at times, but Steve, this is the light at the end of the tunnel. And there's something so special, Kevin, about winning it at home in front of your fans who have kind of ridden that roller coaster with you gone through all the adversity, the ups and downs, the emotions. And when you finally get that championship, it is so special when you can enjoy it with your home crowd. And now we go down to the floor where NBA Commissioner Adam Silver will be presenting the Larry O'Brien Trophy announcing the NBA Finals MVP award winner. Thank you to these extraordinary NBA teams. We're the Eastern and Western Conference champions. These are two very worthy teams, but there can only be one champion. So congratulations to the fans, the coaching staff, and a wonderfully talented team. Your 2014 NBA champions, the New Orleans Pelicans. This is the moment you dream about growing up as a kid. I mean, this is something that each and every one of these players will remember forever. From the owner of the team all the way down to the ball boys, you have to hand it to the entire organization, Steve. They work together to get right here. And what better way, Kevin, to give back to the loyal fans of this franchise than to finish out this series, this whole playoff run, actually, in front of the home crowd. What a night. And now our attention will turn to the floor and NBA Commissioner Adam Silver for the presentation of the Bill Russell NBA Finals MVP Award. A tremendously talented player and deserving the award named for Bill Russell, the ultimate champion. Congratulations to the winner of the Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Mark, I can speak for myself, but hasn't this been a tremendous playoffs? It really has been, Kevin. I mean, you never know when you start the postseason what you're in store for, how things will turn up. But we now all know what the end result was. Steve, I know you've enjoyed every second of this series. Yeah, it's been phenomenal to watch, Kevin. And, and what impresses me the most is, you know, the NBA playoffs are such a grind. Uh, to win it all, to go through so much adversity, the roller coaster ride of emotions, and now all of a sudden this team uh, can just relax and let out everything and enjoy the night. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. For Doris Burke, Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long.
have a wonderful summer. All right, tell me right, God darn now that the Hall of Fame ain't crazy. The score was like 124 to 118. Like, we was up 20 the whole game. I get subbed out for about a quarter, and they almost come back and win that bad boy. That scared me so bad. But let's go ahead and hop into this press conference, y'all. Goodness gracious. An impressive win tonight to cap off a historic run. Sweeping through the playoffs like no team in history has done before has to put you guys right up there with the greatest teams of all time. So how do you feel the team ranks historically after this win? 16 and 0, baby. What else we need to say? We the best out here. Always, forever. Nobody ever gonna do it like we do it unless we do it next year. That's all I'm saying, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? We the goddamn best out here. You know what I'm saying? We from New Orleans. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Whoo! Man, I don't think I could even care less about that right now. That's for you guys to argue about, not for me to try to decide. Look, we're the NBA champs right now. NBA champions, baby. Where the experts decide to place us historically is so irrelevant to what we just went out and did. We won a title, and we won it in historic fashion. And that's enough for me. More than enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is IKC signing out. If you did like the video, make sure you drop a like. Um, the video versus Jackson Ellis will be the next video out. This is IKC signing out, y'all. Peace. What's up guys? I'm the Toy Forever and you're watching another video by iPod King Carter. Y'all dudes stay up on these video games all day while y'all girl is in the kitchen cooking and cleaning. It's rough being a bitch sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and if you want to become a part of Team IKC, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, boo. Bye sexy.